OK, let's move on to what's going on in Pakistan now, where the government has just appointed a new chief justice. It comes after constitutional changes which now allow the parliament to pick the top judge. The ruling parties made the changes to curb what they call judicial activism aimed against the administration. The opposition party of the jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan says the changes undermine judicial independence. OK, let's get a little bit more on this story from DW reporter Beanish Javid, who joins me now here in the studio. Perhaps you can explain a little bit, Beanish, about what these changes are, who's been appointed and what it means for Pakistan. Uh, Jack, simply put, the appointment process of the Chief Justice of Pakistan has been changed. Uh, so it has been now moved from the traditional seniority process to a system where members of Pakistan's parliament will pick uh, the Supreme Court Chief Justice. Uh, now, on paper, it seems fine, but Pakistan's main opposition party, Pakistan Tehreek-e Insaf party of jail, former Prime Minister Imran Khan, has accused the government of uh, ill intentions. They boycotted also the vote, and they also say that some members who voted uh, to make these amendments in the constitution uh, did it under force and pressure. Now, these are accusations that government denies. Um, Im Imran Khan's party basically says that he's in jail and through these ch uh, changes in the constitutions, um, the government wants to appoint judges that are less sympathetic to Imran Khan. So Imran Khan continues to stay in jail and does not join the main political landscape of the country. That's what PTI says. The government denies these accusations and basically what they say is they want to make parliament and politicians of the country uh, supreme and powerful in uh, uh, making these decisions and basically making the parliament supreme, as uh, they say. But this decision has been criticized by many human rights observers, even by uh, UN human rights chief. And maybe we can uh, show this quote to our viewers. Uh, Volker Turk has said, latest constitutional amendments adopted hastily without broad consultation and debate will seriously undermine independence of the judiciary. Constitutional reforms must be in line with international human, human, uh, human rights law. So what we see, at, even at the international level, even at the UN level, there, there is concern concern that how these amendments were adopted um, and uh, basically uh, the independence of judiciary uh, mm. seems like there are questions on the process now. In the past, how politicised has Pakistan's judiciary been? Is this, the f this isn't the first instance of this. So political observers have long said that Pakistan's judiciary has been politicised and it has uh, made deals with the military and collided, uh, like worked with the military to make decisions that were harmful uh, for the democracy of the country. Uh, prime ministers were disqualified, dictatorships were endorsed. We also know that Pakistan's uh, Supreme Court had ordered uh, the hanging of a very popular prime minister, Zulfiqar Ali Bhutto, father of late, uh, Pakistan's late prime minister, Benazir Bhutto, in 1979. So there, there is precedence of judicial activism that was used to uh, subvert and undermine democracy in the country. Beanish, thank you so much for bringing us up to date, giving the context there on the unfolding story in Pakistan. It's great to have you on the show.